If you are considering a move to Linux because you don't like the direction that Windows 11 is going and gaming is important to you, then stick around as I'm gonna compare Windows 11 to Nobara Linux in a few games using an AMD GPU, in this case the Powercolor Red Devil 9070 XT. So why did I choose Nobara? Well, I think this is a good distro for beginners. After the installation process has finished, by default, you already have installed Steam or Heroic Launcher to run games. For those that are not aware, with Heroic Launcher you can run games from Epic Store or GOG clients. You have even GOverlaid installed, but you will need to configure it, in case you want to check the in-game performance. And Nobara is the Fedora-based distribution, so you can expect that you will have from the get-go newer kernels and GPU drivers. It also has an app drawer, if I can call it that, where you can find some apps that you may need for day-to-day -day tasks. I think it's a good distro, so you could give it a shot if interested. Now, when it comes to benchmarks, I will test at 1440p and 4K, but I'm not gonna cover 1080p. The settings used for testing will be shown before each side-by-side -side you run. In some games at 4K, I used upscaling set to quality. When it comes to the translation layer used, I went with Proton EM. First, let's start with Borderlands 4. I used max settings at 1440p and to my surprise, in this area, Windows and Nobara are on par. There is no difference between the two. At 4K, using the same settings but with FSR set to quality, we can observe that, again, there is no performance difference between the two operating systems, with both hovering at just below 60 FPS on average. The next game that I want to mention is Silent Hill F and at 1440p, using these settings with FSR set to quality, to my surprise Nobara is in the lead by around 12%. When I increase the resolution to 4K, again with FSR set to quality, Nobara has an 11% lead over Windows. This is a nice surprise. I tested Ratchet & Clank only with ray tracing enabled. At 1440p using these settings shown on the screen right now, Windows has the lead, but Nobara is not far behind. The performance delta stands at around 7% in favor of Windows. When I increase the resolution to 4K using these settings, the gap is reduced, but technically Windows still has the lead delivering around 2% more performance on average. Now let's move to Counter-Strike 2, a game that runs native in Linux. Using these competitive settings, it seems that in this one, Windows has the edge as it delivers around 10% more performance when compared to Linux.
And the last game that I want to mention in these side-by-side -side rounds is Total War Warhammer 3, a direct X11 game. As we can see from the time frame graph, this game is a bit smoother in Windows as opposed to Linux. When it comes to the performance, Windows has a 9% lead over Nobara. When I increase the resolution to 4K using the same settings, the performance gap seems consistent, with Windows taking the lead. Also, DirectX 11 games seem to be a bit stuttery in Linux, at least on AMD GPUs, but more investigation is needed in this area. Now, when we look at the 1440p chart, we can see that in most games, Windows has the lead. But Nobara is no sludge, edging out in Silent Hill F. Windows still has the upper hand in ray tracing scenarios, and if I would have focused more on testing ray tracing games, the balance will shift more towards Windows. Just look at Ratchet and Clank with RT enabled. Either way, Linux is catching up to Windows when RDNA 4 GPUs are in the mix. Hopefully, MESA 26.1 will bring Linux closer to Windows in ray tracing scenarios. And here is the graph with the percentage difference. The gap isn't big, but it's still there. When we move to 4K, the gap shrinks, but Windows is still ahead. The outliner is still Silent Hill F, and I'm not sure why the gap. Here is the percentage graph where we can clearly see that Linux has closed the gap in a few games, but still loses in Claire Obscure and Total War Warhammer 3. So, is Linux on par with Windows on RDNA 4 when gaming? I would say that it closed the gap in raster games, but there is still room for improvement. I didn't focus too much on ray tracing games this time around, but there is still a gap in performance. The gap is not because I used Nobara or Proton EM instead of Proton GE. Keep in mind that most distros or translation layers are a few percentage apart. It's not like CacheOS would have won in most games, or Proton GE would have performed better than Proton EM, so have that in mind. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video or found it useful, hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing to the channel and drop a comment below to help with the algorithm. I hope to see you all in the next one, so take care.